Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Sarah, and this is a coloring book review flip through for Kingdom of Fairy Tales. Um, this book I bought from AliExpress, um, the app on an Android phone. You can get that at um, the Google Play Store, and I'm sure they've got it on the iPhone stores as well. I don't have iPhone, I have Samsung, so I don't know about that positively, but um, AliExpress, I know you can can um, order it from online as well from that that site um, and this particular book I believe this one was 1070 something 1090 something it was in that $11 range there um, so anyway uh, the dimensions of this particular book is 10 by 10 inches um, and as you can see um, there is um, other writing on here. I can't read this. Um, I don't know what it says. I'm assuming that it says Kingdom of Fairy Tales, um, like it is said below here. If you guys are wondering what the ISBN number is, it is right here. And you can pause the video here if you would like to write this down. If you're having trouble seeing this, the number is 978-7-5502-6154. Um, AliExpress is a really good place to buy coloring books from Japan, Korea, China, um, places like that. Um, and shipping is free on some of them. Um, this particular one shipping was free and it got here in about, I'm going to say seven days, which was extremely fast. Um, this one came from China. Um... That was extremely, I, I was shocked by how fast it came and the shipping was free. So, um, I've had good luck from this site so far. I've only ordered a few things and hopefully more will be in later this week and I'll make more videos of those. So, like I said, dimensions are 10 by 10 inches. This is the front. This is the back. And I really enjoy coloring books. This is the spine that are about fairy tales and other lands, other places, um, fantasy kind of things. I really think those are, are really cool. And I love coloring books that are travel as well. So any coloring books that take you to a different place other than where I live, um, I really enjoy. I think they're very fascinating and very good. So inside you have um, not a dust cover, but it does have a little flap here. And it shows other books that I'm not sure if this author or illustrator has um, done or if it's from the same company or what, since I cannot read the language. Um, but those are there. And I'm going to zoom in just a couple notches here, see if I can get it a little closer. There we go. So Kingdom of Fairy Tales. This would be the title page. On the publication page right here. No idea what this says. Um, if anybody um, can read this, or at least tell me what language it is, um, that would be most helpful. Um, I don't know if it is Korean, Japanese, uh, Chinese. I know it came from China, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is Chinese. So um, that would help with the Google Translation app if you knew what country it was from. I flipped through this book really quick, so I haven't had a chance to really look at the pages well. But so far what I can tell is that each page is a story from a fairy tale. So this page, um, this double page spread here, would be Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It's got the Seven Dwarves right here and Snow White sleeping. Um, they're obviously in the forest, so that's kind of how you have to deduce what um, story it's from that way, because unless you can read um, the language that it's printed in, you're not really going to know <laughs> what what is on that page. But that's okay, um, because I'm coloring it and not reading it. I believe this one would be the Swan Princess. And as you can see, the pages are really beautifully illustrated. I, I was really impressed with this. This is Aladdin. 
Beauty and the Beast. And I didn't know all the stories, so I'm not going to say all the stories. You can kind of figure that out by yourself. Um, let me kind of push the spine open a bit. Um, I wanted to mention that the pages in the spine area match up so well. Look at that. That's like a perfect little match here. Um, and a lot of books don't do that. So I was really impressed with how this particular book was made. The page quality in here is pretty nice, actually. Um, it is thicker. Um, it's a very thin cardstock type of paper or a very, very thick uh, printer copy paper type of paper. It's, it's really nice. It would be decent for a lot of different mediums. I would say the things that would be best for this book, since the pages are so smooth, they do feel really nice, would be colored pencil because they would lay down very, very smooth. You would not have much tooth on the paper to get that that look that you almost have to burnish out. Um, other things that would be great for this type of paper would be gel pens, fine liners, ink pens. I would even say that watercolor would be fine as long as you're um, able to kind of monitor how much water you're using. Make sure you're not soaking the page through or anything. And just be sure you let the colors completely dry before you shut your book and before and or before you use another color on top of the color that you have because these pages are not watercolor paper so if you use a lot of water it will start to peel and it will um, get that really scratchy feel to it and you don't want that on your paper so most of the stories in here are two page spreads there are a few that are not but most of them are um, just beautiful renditions of fairy tales here, beautifully drawn, and I just love coloring books like this. They, they just are kind of magical to me. One quick thing I'd like to say, it's kind of a rant of mine, um, and I apologize since this has nothing to do with this particular coloring book, but I have been getting a lot of comments um, that I have deleted. I don't feel like they're okay to leave up that are very mean. Um, my name is Sarah. I am not a boy. I cannot help the type of voice that I have. Um, you're kind of born with your voice. So if you feel led to ask me if I'm a man, um, please don't. That's kind of a hurtful comment. I'm not a man. My name is Sarah, so obviously I am a female human being that has feelings. Um, and there's been other comments um, either about my voice or about my gender left below. Um, I don't appreciate those, and they will be erased. So if you feel like you need to leave those, please just move on to somebody else and just don't leave them at all. Um, they're not very nice, and I don't think you would like it if people left comments like that for you. So I'm not going to say who it is that's been leaving comments, but they have been deleted, and they will continue to be deleted if they continue to appear. So that's my little rant. Back to the coloring book. Um... I would, I would say that markers, felt tip markers, would probably be okay on this paper, but please test it out beforehand. I've not tested anything on these pages yet. So, um, I would not use alcohol-based markers like the Copic kind or Sharpies um, just because you're going to run the page behind. So I went kind of slow in this book, turning the pages, because this is such a neat book, and there's a lot to see on the pages. In the back here, you have a little index about um, all the pages, and I'm sure that it says down below what fairy tale they're from. 
Again, I can't read it, so I don't know if that's what it says, but I'm pretty sure that that would be my guess as to what it says. And these pages in the back would be the pages I would test my mediums on. And that is the end. So again, this was the flip through review for F Kingdom of Fairy Tales. And I got this from AliExpress, A L I E X P R E S S dot com. Um, very inexpensive. You can buy a lot of coloring books there that you can't get from other places like Amazon or. Um, book depository. So I hope you've enjoyed this review and until next time, happy coloring and be nice to people.